Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnegie.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at the rules that will tell us whether or not a categorical syllogism is going to be valid. This is for if you don't like the Venn diagrams, you're confused by those, or you don't like just memorizing all of the tables of which syllogisms are valid or invalid, there are five rules, and if you use these rules, you can tell whether or not a syllogism is going to be valid. First one we'll be looking at is rule one. Before we can get there, we have to remember a piece of vocabulary we learned quite a while ago when we were first learning about syllogisms. It's called distributed. A term is going to be distributed if the proposition says something about all the members of that class. Universals distribute subjects, and negatives distribute predicates. The terms highlighted in red are those that are distributed. Now, rule number one is going to be that the middle term of a categorical syllogism has to be distributed at least once. Let's take a look at some examples. So figure 1AAA, all buildings are taller than an anthill, all houses are buildings, therefore all houses are taller than an anthill. I've highlighted the distributed terms in red. We see that the middle term, buildings, is going to be distributed in the first premise, so this is going to pass rule one. Figure three, E-I-O, similarly, no cops are mob informants, some private eyes are mob informants, therefore some private eyes are not cops. Our middle term, mob informants, is going to be distributed in the first premise, so this will also pass rule one. Once we take rule one to all of the possible moods and figures of propositions, we reduce by about a quarter all the propositions that are there, and we see all of the ones we learned were valid still stick around. That was rule one. Next up is rule two, three, four, and five. Watch this video and more at carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.